make sure that you follow it strictly so it's not going to be anything difficult okay anything difficult at all hello and welcome to my channel if you're new here feel free to subscribe with notifications on these are my social media handles and all the links are down below in the description box yeah so what we're gonna have to do i think would be six weeks of intense therapy get the calisthenics going some band movements and start one second i'll be right with you some band movements and things and then we'll see how it goes from there okay cool thanks hi sorry and uh i was just yeah anyway how can i help you today welcome to i suppose a physiotherapy studio um it's any sports injuries things like that we do tend to take care of so my question to you would be i've not seen your face before what can i help you with today what's uh, what's troubling you any niggling pains or ongoing injuries that i can have a look at get these magic hands okay okay i see hmm hmm yep okay before we begin Very disorganized. I never seem to have the right necessary sort of setup. I do apologize. Here we go. So, uh, firstly, can I ask your name, please? Okay. Yeah, and that's two peas. Two peas in a pot. <laughs> you and me. It's rapport building. We're bantering already. We're friends, best friends. Right, it would, yeah. Uh, can I get your date of birth, please? Okay. It's a great date of birth. I've actually got the same one myself, so. A different year, and day, and month. But otherwise, very similar. Okay. Okay, and guys, get your, maybe not a home address, just postal address. I guess I'm not. Birchwood, Birchwood. I know that place, yeah, yeah. No, I drive past on the way to work. It's not very far. Did you walk here? Oh, well, I guess obviously not. Um, did you roll here? I don't know. You've got a bad leg, that's what I'm trying to say. So I can see the problem. Okay. And contact telephone number, please, if you may. Very good. Okay. And I'm going to need a next of kin as well in case anything happens. So I need to know that one. Next of kin, like an emergency contact. Thank you. Yep. Cool. And they have relationship to you. Okay. Good. 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 good, 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 good. And I'm going to need their contact number as well, please. Yeah, it's just to make sure I. Just to cover my bases, really. Just to make sure. I'm not going to make you sign a waiver or anything, but in case anything happens, I need to alert someone close to you, you know? So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Questions, I think. Cool. Now we get into the injury. What am I here to fix? Well, what are you here for me to fix? I didn't move. I stayed exactly where I was. You came to me. What are you here for me to fix? Okay. Ankle. Right. I was thinking maybe a knee thing, which is hard. Ankles. Easy. I can do that. Alright, cool. And when did you first notice this injury occur? Oh, nice. Yeah. I've never played squash. It looks weird. It looks like an intense game. You have to hit it above the line and below the line. Stay behind the line. Like, what is this? R underground railway track? Behind the yellow line. Okay. Cool. And so you say you fell. Do you feel awkward? Okay. I see what I get. Fair enough. Cool. 
And if you could describe the pain on a level of 1 to 10, currently, okay, currently sitting at a 5, but at the time, an 8. So it's decreasing, which is good, I guess. That's really good. That would be the natural morphine your body produces. Sort of sends it down there just to help your, help your brain cope with the pain, basically. Stop from passing out, things like that. And if you could describe the type of pain uh, currently and also at the point of the injury happening, was it sort of like a white hot pain, an achy pain? What are we talking here? Okay, I see. I see, I see. I see, I see, I see. I see you. <laughs> That's where you've just been. Okay. Uh huh. And was anyone with you at this? Squash? You're just playing squash by yourself. Mm hmm. Got some more questions for that. But I'll just put. No. Cool. Well, currently, that's really all the questions I have at the minute. So I'll put this down here. Um, so, what we typically do here is I'm going to have a little look, have a little feel of the angle, see what I can, uh, you know, gather, what information I can sort of come to. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to develop. make sure that you follow it strictly so it's not going to be anything difficult okay anything difficult at all um but what we all will have to do will be throw three days a week anyway i'll have a look at the ankle first just chuck us the ankle please chuck us the ankle okay right i'm just gonna feel the ankle there if you don't mind okay We'll just need to probably prod it with a few things, so if you bear with me. Awesome, so I'm going to prod it with this. This is my trusty prodder, okay? All right, prodders. Okay, so I'm just going to give us the ankle again. I'm just going to prod it with this. Okay, it's there. Okay, so it's where the ankle meets the foot, that sort of joint area. If I roll, okay, cool. I'm prodding up near the knee now, near the knee. Move slowly down your shin, the side of your calf. Don't know when I ate, my voice aged 50 years, but apparently it just did. Moving down the side of the calf, coming down. Okay, tell me when it starts to hurt. Right, okay, there. Makes sense. Right. And it's, it's just this ankle, is it? It's not... The other ankle, it's just this one, okay. So again, you rolled funny, and okay, I see. I see, okay. So all I need to do here, put this down. It's gonna gently massage the ankle, and see what I can feel, okay? So he's giving me the ankle, okay. How's that feel? Okay. And now what I'm gonna do, you just, Relax your ankle so that like like jelly is attached to your foot, and I'm just gonna gently just press. Okay, just press. Okay, very light pressure. Okay, just. Press. Okay, so there's some muscle damage there I can can feel. Okay, what we need to do now is if you can just get up. I saw you sort of hobbled in here without crutches, which is. This is impressive, considering it does look like it's very bruised, very inflamed currently. Okay, so what we need to do is, if you just go for a walk down to that wall, and then back to me, please. And what I'll be doing is I will be taking some photographs of, of that, okay, out of your gate. So I'll be filming you just briefly like this. Where are we? Be filming you yep. if you just thank you. We just walk slowly, 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 and now back to me. Back to me. Very good. Okay, okay. All right, I'm just gonna take a few photographs of your of your injury there, if you don't mind. Um, this is for my record, and then we can look back on it in maybe. 
I'm thinking seven to eight sessions, one per week, and we'll do some exercises and things moving forward, okay? So, just hold, hold that ankle, just, yep, just raise it up there, thank you. Okay, where are we? Okay, and... Yep, any of you could just twist it just slightly. Is that possible? Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. If you can just twist it ever so slightly. Okay. Looking good. Right. Got that now. Put that back in. What will we be doing? Write down my findings here. So, uh, looks like slight inflammation. He said it was possibly ligament damage or something along those lines. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I do recommend, I'll make a note of it here, keep off it for a bit. You shouldn't have really walked in here without crutches. I'm going to give you a single crutch to leave here with and just keep it elevated for the next few days. Get some ice on it, you know, and then we can really crack into the exercises, which I'll give you now. of exercises I'm gonna make a note here of let's say hmm. so we have some calisthenic bands what you'll be doing just putting it uh, on the ground in a sort of oval shape stand in the middle okay and then using your left leg as a pillar I want you to just gently raise your right leg and resist against the band as it comes up and then down and then up and then down okay so make a note of that Time as you're moving laterally, I do want you to do the same way again with that oval shape in the in sort of facing the other direction now, facing forward instead of horizontally. You're going to raise the same foot, pushing against that sort of resistance band up and then down, and then up and then down, and then up and then down again. Okay. Nothing too strenuous, don't worry. Okay. Also, uh, whenever you can, I'd say probably once every hour or two, um, sort of like a ballerina, place your toes facing down and just rotate that ankle 10 times clockwise and 10 times anti-clockwise, okay? When you're able to. I don't want you to stress the injury more than it already has been by you walking in here today, okay? So just make sure you've looked after it briefly, you know, you're in the mend, and then just strengthen that muscle in a week or two, not before, not sooner. In about a week or two, you can start doing these exercises. Okay, very good. All righty then. Very good. Cool. And yes, I guess it wouldn't hurt to do the other ankle as well, just to make sure there's no sort of atrophying going on there where the muscle loses its density and strength. But really, we really want to focus on building that muscle and strength back up in the injured ankle, okay? Do you play any other sports apart from squash? Okay. Very good. I recommend swimming. Just maybe not breaststroke. We'll just do a bit of a front crawl or freestyle kind of thing. Currently just holding the board just in front of you like that and doing a gentle kick, okay? Gentle kick, slowly strengthening that as well. So I want you to swim twice a week, very gently. If you do have access to a pool, of course, if you don't have access, no worries, no bother, nay bother. Okay. Right then, okay. Another thing I do want you to do, and this is, I guess, because there, I did notice some sort of slight damage to the lower calf, okay? Yep, just where the ankle meets the calf, there's that grace period in between uh, where that can occasionally have some sort of uh, difficulty. So what are you going to be doing there, okay? Against a wall, I want your knee, your foot to be flat against the ground, right? 
your knee touching the wall and just slowly, ever so slowly, put pressure onto that foot until you feel a tightness in your lower calf. Hold that there for 10 seconds, come back. Wait five or six seconds between that and then back down, okay? Back down, very good. And one last thing which I do want to do, just briefly, is just measure the extent of this injury, okay? And what we'll do is we can come back and check on this in a few weeks, see how much it has decreased, because I can see it is quite swollen currently, okay? So in comparison to the other ankle, which I'll just, I'll just measure that now. All right, circumferences. Okay, now we'll check this ankle here. Okay, okay, that's much, that's almost twice the size. So, okay, so we already have the, the photographs, which is good. And Yes, and just the extent of the bruising from the middle of the foot, it looks like right up to the middle of the shin. Good, good coverage on that bruising, don't get me wrong. Okay. Here and I'll email this to you. Actually, did I get your email address? I'm not sure if I did. If I didn't, can I just get your email address again, real quick? Cool. Hey, we've got an AOL user. Fair enough. It's been a while since I've seen one of them in the wild. Okay. So what I'll do here, yeah, I'll send all this to you in an email document. Okay. And from there, what we we can do, what we can do from there is we can schedule another session. Uh, you can book it through my uh, Outlook calendar. I have a little link to schedule an appointment with me. Okay. And they'll send me a notification, which I then accept. You will have view of my calendar as well. Okay. Um, on the way out, pick up your calisthenic bands, as well as some very light weights, something of two kilograms, which you can just raise up and down, raise up and down, just to get that balance coming back in as well. Um, I also recommend, if you haven't already, getting some orthopedic inserts, okay? So that basically just brings the arch of your foot a bit more up, and it just takes the pressure off of your calf and possibly your ankle as well, I'm not sure. I'm a real physiotherapist. I'm a fake physiotherapist. There, I said it. Okay. Uh, oh, apologies, didn't mean to hit you. Ah, oh, another injury. Um, well, thanks for coming in today. Appreciate it. Um, appreciate you giving me your custom. And uh, yeah, I think we just hit Nathaniel on the way out. He will, he will be able to help you get all that stuff which I've mentioned. I'm also going to email you through the photos and the video I took, uh, as well as the measurements of your um, uh, atrocious ankle. Really doesn't isn't isn't nice to look at. So. It must be really painful to have. To everyone else, medical role play number three, done and dusted. Hope you're enjoying this medical role play week. Medical role play, doc, medical doctor role play week. I think I called it. Um, there are more coming. I'm trying to do something different, not just like doctors and dentists and cradle nerves. It's like stuff I've not done before. Appreciate this one might be a bit. This is a bit different. Mostly like a consultation, as opposed to like a fixing you kind of thing. Oh, in terms of fixing you, I still want, I need to get my tools still, so I will get them at some point, and I can do that sort of fixing you like you're a robot roleplay. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.